Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. Back at you with another video, man. Let the content of the video go ahead and smash that like button. Let the content of the channel, man, go ahead and hit subscribe. And yo, know, today's Wednesday. We like to do the injury report. And, uh, you know, we're on to next week, bro. I know a lot of us are still talking about the Dolphins game, but that's in the past now. It's now all focused on to the Patriots. So we're going to talk about the injuries uh, so far this week going into that game and, you know, where we stand on that front, all right? I'm trying out the headphones to see if they give me a little bit of better audio quality. Uh, you guys let me know if you can hear me a little bit clearer now uh, with these headphones in, all right? So let's start off with, before we get to the injury report, let's start with the fact that the Ravens did make a move today. They signed outside linebacker Brandon Copeland. They did bring Jason Pierre, Pierre Paul into the building, but no deal was met. No, no deal was reached, excuse me. Uh, they're still working on that, so we'll see what happens with that. But they did sign Brandon Copeland, 31 years old, straight to the practice squad. Cool thing about Copeland is he is a Baltimore native. He went to Gilman, and uh, he's been in the NFL for at least, I believe, about eight seasons, something like that. Uh, he played for the Jets for at least five years. Then last year, he was on the Atlanta Falcons, played 16 games for the Falcons. So he played quite a bit of football last year. And we know the Ravens only have two outside linebackers after Stephen Means goes down. And they need help there. And we'll see if Copeland can be the guy that provides some of that help. You know, we'll, we'll see what he can do, okay? Now, as far as the injury report, who was practicing, who wasn't practicing, things of that nature, you got Devin DuVernay out today. Uh, you know, he's, in, he's still in the concussion protocol. Uh, John Harbaugh said it's looking good for Devin DuVernay. It's looking positive. So we'll see if that means that he ends up playing on Sunday. But for right now, he's still he's still going through the protocol, okay? Uh, Marlon Humphrey has a groin injury. That, same, that groin injury kept him out some major plays versus the Dolphins. So we'll see if he can get the cover for that. I believe they said that every single touchdown the Dolphins scored, Marlon Humphrey wasn't on the field, which is uh, quite an incredible stat, all right? Um, Marcus Peters is out with the knee injury as far as his practice goes. Now, not knee injury, sorry, but, you know, just that's the, the definition that, that they put on him. Uh, they probably still got him on a pitch count. He was on a pitch count on Sunday. Uh, they probably practice him lightly. He'll probably practice tomorrow. Who knows? But I know that they're taking it easy with his recovery process as far as Marcus Peters goes, Okay. Uh, Justin Houston, Clayus Campbell, both out of today's practice, but Wednesday practice, usually the, the veterans usually get that day off, especially veterans like a Justin Houston and Calais Campbell who've been doing it for 12 plus years, these guys. Um, I think like the Buccaneers gave like Tom Brady, you know, they give him Wednesdays off, you know what I mean? So it's not something that's uncommon or anything to be alarmed about. So those guys should be fine. Now back practicing, you got Brandon Stevenson practicing, you got Pepe Williams practicing. You got James Prochet practicing, okay? Now, Brandon Stevens could be needed, obviously, if, you know, Peters maybe can't go, but I think he will. I think it's just being safe for him. But if Marlon especially can't go, uh, Brandon Stevens is going to be needed. But it's still it's too early in the week to say who's going to play, who's not going to play. Um, as far as Pepe Williams goes, I, I feel like he did some good things. But, you know, he's a young player. They made some mistakes in the game. But it's good to see him out there practicing. I think he's going to be a, a good and important player for the Ravens this year. Uh, James Prochet. Now, James Prochet has been kind of having a rough, I would say, last month and a half. I mean, you know, started freaking um, mini camps, OTAs, going into the first couple weeks of training camp. James Prochet was killing it. You know, he was on fire. Then he kind of picked up a hamstring injury. The hamstring injury kind of turned into a groin injury. And he's just been kind of twirling back and forth these last, uh, I would say, like a month, month and a half. But he returned back to practice today. So hopefully... We get to see some James Prochet on Sunday. Uh, the Ravens might need him, especially if, you know, a guy like Devin DuVernay cannot go. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that, okay? Now, just some extra notes from the practice. Um, Lamar Jackson is wearing a protective sleeve on his right arm. It's believed that he was hurt, not hurt, but it believed that he was hit inside the pocket on his arm. Um, I believe the play that they showed was um, a D lineman might have hit his elbow as he was extending. And that the Ravens are... I haven't put an injury designation on him, so he's not officially injured or anything like that. But he was out there wearing a protective sleeve on his right arm. He didn't throw to any of the wide receivers during the media portion of practice, um, but he very well could have thrown to them after that. We don't know. Um, he, him, he talked in the press conference and said that he's fine. John Harbaugh said the exact same thing. Hey, Lamar Jackson's fine. Nothing to worry about. He's going to play on Sunday. Lamar Jackson said that I'm going to play on Sunday and I'm going to throw the football a lot. So... He's, he's ready to go. So as fans, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, it sounds like he's good and ready to go. Now, uh, another guy that we've been waiting on is uh, Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley, according to Jesse Rebeck, it seems to be doing more than he has been doing in past practices, which just could mean he's ramping up and getting ready to play. But here's the thing. 
as far as Stanley goes, until he's completely out there on the field, and I see that an active list on Sunday doesn't feature his name on it, I'm not going to get excited about different things at practice. It's good that he's out there, he's moving around, he's doing more things. But until we get that official Ronnie Sanders in uniform, don't expect him to be out there. All right. Um, that's just how I feel about it. Uh, you know, and it's nothing against Stanley. They're being super cautious with him, and I get that 100%. You don't want to rush anybody back. Uh, so that's where it is, Ronnie Stanley. Until he's out there playing, I see, I see that. I see that 79 on the field. To me, he's out. All right. And uh, that's just the way I'm going to carry it. Uh, J.K. Dobbs is another guy. He's practicing. You know, he's doing what he does. He's cutting. Um, we'll see if he plays this week. You know, if the Ravens don't play him this week, it would be very, very interesting because then they could have just put him on IR because the IR would only have been one more week and then he would be able to come back week five. Um, if they don't play him this week, it's just, I don't know, this is just a very interesting situation. So we'll see what happens with J.K. Dobbins. Uh, according to, you know, some of the people that he looked, he looked fine. He looked like J.K., you know, but... Practice versus game action are the two different things. When he comes back, he will probably be on the pitch count, just like Marcus Peters is on the pitch count. And, you know, he'll get in where he fits in, you know. Uh, the Ravens need J.K. Dobbins. They need an explosive running back in the backfield. Uh, Lamar Jackson, the quarterback, can't be the only explosive runner that this running game has. And they miss him, you know. So we will see what happens with that. Um, but everything else seems to be in good order, man. Uh, no other injuries as far as coming out of the game that has been reported. So, the Ravens seem to be in a pretty good standing going into Sunday. So, guys like, let's see. So, guys that I said not practicing, like Duvernay, you know, pop, like I said, Harbaugh saying is looking positive. So, I expect him to play. If he can get back, that's a big boost for the receiving core, obviously. And obviously, and also the return game. I, we know he just took a kickoff, 103 yards to the house. So, not having him back there... Um, would be a hit to the Ravens, even though I was the same guy that says I don't like our starting receiver also playing special teams. Uh, you know, Duvernay is very good at it, and it would be, at least this season, not good to take him away from that when we don't have a guy to truly replace him back there. I mean, I guess you could put a Justice Hill back there. But, um, but yeah, you know, Devin Duvernay is important. So, uh, Justin Houston Clay is Campbell veteran days. I think Marcus Peters will play. The only guy that's not practicing that I'm really, truly worried about is Marlon Humphrey. Uh, he missed portions of that Sunday game versus the uh, Dolphins when we really needed them. And obviously injuries, you know, you can't control that. So that's the guy I'm worried about. You know, he, he's missing practice today. He missed key plays versus the Dolphins when he obviously wanted to be out there and he just couldn't go. So groin injuries can be tricky, man. And we'll see if that heals by Sunday, if he can still go. But he's probably going to be listed as questionable until then. We'll see what happens, man. Uh, so that's the injury report today for the Ravens, man. Let me know uh, you, your thoughts in the comments, and we'll talk about it there, man. It's your boy, Gabriel. Just not the fan TV. I'm out.